Often while you're developing software, you're going to be wanting to rerun the test as you make changes. So you make a change and then you rerun the test to make sure that they still work. Many testing frameworks, including Ava, include something which is called a watch mode, which will effectively run your tests and then watch the file system for updates. So as you make a change, it automatically will rerun your tests. Something unique about Ava's watch mode is that it's intelligent, and so it can determine which tests need to be run based off the file that you saved, rather than rerunning all of the tests in your entire test suite. So let's go ahead and add a script to do this test mode for us. We're going to add watch colon test, and that colon has no special meaning, that's just a convention that I follow. And then we'll basically take this same content here, and we'll paste it in there, and then we'll add dash dash watch. Now let's execute this by running npm run watch test. And this starts the watch mode. So if I go into my app and open up toggle test, and then I'll simply add a new line and hit save. It's going to rerun three tests and that's because I saved a file that has three tests in it. Uh, but I didn't affect either one of these files and so those won't be rerun. However, in the package JSON, we're now duplicating the exact same script for both of these scripts, and that's not really a big deal, but it's nice to be able to share these. So if we ever made a change to this test script, we wouldn't have to update the watch script as well. So we're going to utilize another feature of NPM and NPM scripts, and that is that if we replace this part with NPM run test and then add a dash dash, that will effectively do the exact same thing running this script and then everything that comes after the dash dash will um, be added to the script that's being run. So let's go ahead and test that out. If we run npm run watch test, then we'll see that uh, the script that npm is actually running is the identical script to what we had before. Now if it really mattered to us, we could actually shorten this to uh, dash w, which Ava will understand to be watch, and then npm provides us with an alias for npm run test being npm t. And this will work just as well. If we run npm run watch test, that will run the exact same thing as we had before. However, it's not always the most important to keep things as small as possible. What's generally more important is to keep things maintainable and readable for future uh, coders and developers in this project. So we're going to go ahead and leave it as it was before because it's much more clear what's going on here. And that's how you set up watch mode for Ava. You simply add a script, we call it watch test, and then you reference your test script and pass along some arguments, and that argument that we're passing along is watch. Then, while the watch mode is running, you can make changes to your files, and it will only run the tests that are relevant to the file that you changed. And this works not only in the test files, but as uh, once we start importing the other files, uh, the source files, then this will work from saving those files as well.